Happy birthday, Dad. Happy belated birthday, Mom. Love you guys. Hope you guys are having a good time tonight and enjoying uh, the day. Um, this thing's asking me my favorite memory, and I think my favorite memory was actually one of my least favorite experiences at the time, which was when we were in England and Dad was driving on the left side of the road in the manual car and, uh, you know, along those British uh, cliff sides, and I was just praying not to die and listening to my music on full blast, hoping that when the end came, at least I wouldn't have to know about it. <laughs> um, yeah, I love you guys. Miss you, and I uh, can't wait to see you this summer. Bye bye. Hi, Glenn and Lori. A little song for your birthday. I think you're both old enough to recognize this. Try to keep it a sweat. No matter how old you are. Fairy tales can come through. It can happen to you. If you're young at heart. For it's hard you will find to be narrow of mind. If you're young at heart. You can, you can go, go to extremes with impossible schemes. You can laugh when your dreams fall apart of the scenes. And life gets more exciting with each passing day. And love is either in your heart or on its way. Don't you know that it's worth every treasure on earth? To be young at heart, for as rich as you are, it's much better by far to be young at heart. And if you should survive to a hundred and five, look at all you derive out of being alive. Now here is the best part. You have a head start if you are amongst the very young and hot. Happy birthday, Glenn and Lauren. Have a great day. It has to be a big occasion for me to actually embarrass myself by singing. Happy birthday. If you're young and hot. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Oh, God. 70 fucking years old. And 60 years old. Unbelievable. Um, <laughs> I just hope that in the next 70 and 60 years, we are never again stuck driving on the left-hand side of the road in England, because I think that might just end all of our lives. In any case, um, I mean, obviously this is a big number, but I'm uh, looking forward to the next 30 or 40 years, and um, I don't know, I just want to say I love you both. Bye. So, best memory of mom and dad. There are so many. I think anytime I am home, it's always just a joy. To, they're just a joy to be around. Um, certainly the funniest people I know. But I think one memory in particular sticks out. Uh, it was probably at Luke's graduation. And it was towards the end of that um, incredibly tortuous ceremony. Uh, and I just turned around and, and I just, I saw um, dad and Lord just with their arms around each other and it looked like they had just tears of joy in their eyes and it suddenly dawned on me what it meant for Luke to be graduating and just sort of reflected at that moment all things at once like how they managed to put us all through school and all the struggles and tough times and, and great times um, it just sort of all came to a head at that moment. And um, I think from that time on, too, I really saw just how much they love each other. And um, 
I guess if you're watching this, um, I love you and you know, um, you've been the greatest parents I could have ever hoped for. Uh, I owe everything to you. So, um, I hope you know how much you're appreciated. Enjoy the night. Hope you enjoying the party and, um, love you. Bye. Drum roll, please. Let the celebration begin with some fireworks just for you. Glenn, one of my favorite memories is playing sock football with you. Headboard to footboard on your bed. Of course, I had to scratch your back for the privilege. Lori, I will never forget the sight of you walking from the playground to 14th Street, pushing a double stroller, a baby in a backpack, grocery bag slung over your arms, a big wheel slung over one handle of the stroller, and sand toys on the other. And you were smiling. I'm so glad the two of you found each other. You are a fabulous couple. You are wonderful parents. And I love each one of your children. And I love you guys too. Oh, and then of course, there's the grandkids. May you have many, many more years of love and joy. Hey, Dad and Lori, happy 70th and happy 60th birthday. Um, so I have a couple of favorites to share with you. Um, first is my favorite memory of you. So I'm going to do it in three categories. Um, my favorite memory of the two of you um, and me was when you were dating and we took Lori to the ballet. And when we were dropping her back off at her apartment, she started to get out of the taxi cab and I said, hey dad, aren't you going to kiss her? Um, and then of course, uh, there's the time that you both walked me down the sandy beach on my wedding day. Um, but my favorite memories of you individually were um, dad, of course, when we went to the Bruce Springsteen concert. That was one of the, the best surprises you ever had for me. And Lori, it was all the times that we went to ballet class together, and I really miss that. In terms of something that I think is special about you both, or something that um, you know that lets you know how uh, or what you mean to me, um, Dad, for you, I think that it's whenever anybody in our family is in trouble, whether it's your own kids or your sisters or. Lori's siblings, um, you just step up to the plate and you are there to help everyone in our family um, to get through whatever they're going through and I love that about you. And Lori, um, you are so special to me. You know, you stepped into my mom's uh, role and I know that that wasn't easy and um, have just been such a wonderful mom slash sister slash friend. Um, you have the best advice always for me and um, I couldn't have asked for a better person to come into my life. I love you. Happy birthday again to you both and I can't wait to celebrate with you and I'll see you soon. Hi, it's Sophie. One of my favorite name memories with Bebop is when we play the drums together. And one of my favorite memories with Nana is we is we cook together. And one of my favorite things to do is come up with is the whole family coming over for and and spending Thanksgiving together. I love you. Bye. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hi, it's Violet, and um, one of my favorite memories with Bebop is when, um, 
and we played at Johnson with him. One of my favorite memories with Nana is when we do crafts with her. Um, one of my favorite things to do with you guys is um is spend um Thanksgiving with you. Dear mom and dad, uh, the older I get, the more I am just blown away by the endless love, wisdom, patience, and selflessness that defines you both. Uh, we're all so lucky to have had you as parents, and uh, every year brings fresh vindications of the things you either said or did that I might not have understood or appreciated at the time. Uh, not just any parents would have let us wreak absolute havoc over their house and possessions, but there was no game, project, curiosity um, that you wouldn't let us pursue. And uh, for that and many other things, I am eternally grateful. Uh, my favorite memory of mom, I would say, would be a 31-way tie for every Christmas morning. Uh, you always made those so special for us, and it was always uh, amazing to see you in your element. Um, who would have thought that a Jewish woman would be so good at Christmas? Dad, my favorite memory is probably our cross-country treks to Ohio for my college auditions. Uh, it was the only time I can think that we spent so much time together one-on-one, -on -one, and uh, I'll always remember our deep and not-so-deep conversations about the um, uh, origins of the universe and various sub other subjects. Uh, perhaps my favorite joint memory might be seeing you both so happy and relaxed in France last summer. Uh, it was a special feeling, and I can't wait to have everyone around um, for whatever trip comes next. Uh, as a little addendum, I would say my uh, least favorite memory of dad might be um, whenever you attempted to help me with my math homework. And least favorite for mom might be you coming into my room, looking around for something for you to make me drop everything and do. But uh, despite those little things, uh, you know, I will always be so happy and, uh, and proud to have you both as parents. So happy 60th and 70th. Hey Glenn and Lori, it's Jimmy. Uh, just wanted to wish you guys happy birthday and bring up a couple quick memories. Uh, well, my favorite memory of you guys is the time that you loaned us all that money so that we could buy our house. Uh, a house that someday I hope is as warm and welcoming as yours. Um, Thanksgivings have always been great up there and the vacation to Long Beach Island with uh, the Weckerman kid that got sunburned and the great food and great times. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys soon and look forward to it.